Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to show you how you can use external python packages in a PySpark job that you are submitting on EMR serverless. Of course when you are working with Spark at times you would need some external packages maybe SciPy or Pandas or whatever that is. So in this video we'll learn how to use external python package in EMR serverless. So without wasting any further time let's get started with the video. All right, so the first step is we need an EMR serverless cluster. I'm gonna go over here and just say Spark cluster. I'm gonna choose the EMR 7.0.0 and then click on create application. So my EMR serverless cluster is now in the starting state. I just wanna basically uh, make sure that you are, you know that uh, in case if you miss out on any steps, I have these amazing blocks with all the screenshot attached. So that should make it easier, okay? So in case if you miss out, please refer the blog guide. All right, so now that our EMR serverless is in the starting state, so let's create a package and then deploy this package on S3. This will contain the libraries that we wanna use. So I'm gonna share my screen and on the bottom side, you will see Cloud Shell. I'm gonna click on that and then I will drag it up and I will try to zoom in as much as I can over here. As you can see, hopefully this font size is visible, right? So uh, let's start by uh, following this script over here. So I'm gonna first create a directory called package and then I'm gonna cd into package, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a pack, uh, virtual environment as you can see called PySpark when source. After that, I would activate the virtual environment. As you can see, that's been activated over here. Okay. Now I will upgrade the pip command. So I'll just say pip install upgrade pip. Okay. After that, I'm gonna install the libraries that I need. So again, in this example, I'm gonna use Faker library, generate some mock data, and then create a Spark data frame and write as a Parquet file. So I need Boto3 and Faker, so I'm gonna install that. So pip3 install Boto3, and then pip3 install Faker. As you can see, probably here. Okay, so I have these uh, packages installed. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip everything up and then uh, ship this to S3. So we'll do that by pip3 install venpack, and then I'm gonna create a gzip file. And if I do ls, here you can see PySpark when underscore uh, when dot tar dot uh, gz. And then, then what? You know, just ship this to S3. There you go. So we have shipped that to S3. And then we'll delete everything locally. So we're just going to do a cleanup. That's it. So now we have a package, right? So now I will try to show you, hopefully. So let me uh, open, uh, close this and open up my... Over here, I'm gonna open up my S3. And then I'm gonna close the cloud shell because I don't need it now. Here, Python package, right? So I have uh, pushed this to S3. All right, so now that you have this package deployed on S3, now let's write a simple Spark job, which will, you know, generate some mock data using this library called Faker and then write as a Parquet file. So back on my computer, I have a Python file called spark underscore job dot py. Most simple spark job ever. Again, create a spark session. Uh, I, I, I use the library called faker, generate some mock data. I print the data frame on the console, as you can see on the line 53. And then guess what? Just write it into S3, right? So I have that. Now what you want to do is you want to push this to S3. So AWS S3 CP spark job dot py. So local on my computer, I have this file. I want to pu push it inside the folder jobs and spark underscore job dot py. So the job that you wrote, you want to push it into S3. I just did that as you can see. Now what we need to do is uh, we just need to fire up the, uh, 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 the job. So come to your EMR serverless, copy this application ID and then simply paste it over here. And then I'm going to export this as an environment variable. I'm going to export IAM role and then I'm going to export the bucket at the end. Now, before we submit the job, uh, we have to add these three con uh, four configuration to use the Python package. So here you can see spark.archive and then here you will put the path 
to your uh, GZ file. And once you do that, you have to add hash environment at the end. This is given on the documentation, okay? So again, simply add these uh, four configuration, okay? So as you can see, now I'm gonna about to submit the job. So I'm gonna copy this one over here. And you can see the job has been fired. I'm gonna go here, simply refresh. And as you can see, the job is now in the scheduled state. So once the job is complete, I'll resume the video uh, from there. All right, so the job looks like it has succeeded. As you can see, the job has succeed. Going to S3, we see that parquet raw, and then we have some of our data files over here. So it looks like everything worked fine, right? So we basically learned uh, in your uh, PySpark job when you're submitting to EMR serverless, how you guys can use external Python packages. This could be SciPy, this could be NumPy, uh, this could be any ML model that you want to use. It could be anything, right? So hope this video was useful and uh, the exercise guide and the materials are on my GitHub. Now, again, I strongly advise to try this out. Go spin up an EMR serverless cluster, uh, submit this uh, sample uh, PySpark job. I think that's the best way you can learn something. With that being said, um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any further question, list your question in the comments and I'll be very happy to assist you. And until then, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.